This is the Bunker King Fly elbow pad and knee pad review. The Bunker King Fly elbow pad and knee pad are a tournament ready, lightweight elbow pad and knee pad. And they're not only elbow pads and knee pads in this Bunker King Fly pad series. You can also get slider shorts and a little like padded top thing. The slider shorts are typical slider shorts. We've seen they have a little bit of groin protection, a little bit of hip protection. And then that top only has that rib cage inside protection. But here, because like, you know, elbow pads and knee pads are by far the most popular, uh, we're just gonna cover those today. So the Fly elbow pad and knee pad are not the only Fly product they're making. Bunker King also had the Fly pad Pant, a tournament style pant that's lightweight, minimal, doesn't have pads, uh, and it's just kind of a basic pant. And kind of taking on that fly pant design, that lightweight style, they're making the fly knee pad and elbow pad. And they're lightweight, minimal, just a basic knee pad. They don't have a lot of like straps and features, kind of like we're seeing on the Exalt Free Flex or the Die knee pads. You can't remove a layer of padding like you can on the Empire Neo Skin stuff. They're just a basic knee pad and elbow pad, I guess. So because of that simple design, they make them very comfortable. They don't have a lot to them, right? They don't have like a lot of seams or like spots where fabric join. They're just very, very basic. And they're using very high quality, soft materials. So they're very comfortable. They're just as comfortable as really every single elbow pad or knee pad out there with that very simple design. Like I mentioned the Empire Neo Skin stuff. I'm finding all of these really basic pads like the Fly Elbow Pad and Knee Pad much more comfortable than a lot of the other stuff over like the Exalt pads, the Die pads, uh, those other Empire pads. They're just more comfortable, I think, than most of the other L pad or elbow pad and knee pads out there because of that really basic design and those really soft, high quality materials. One problem I seem to have with a lot of knee pads is that when I go to bend my knee, they just kind of like bind up and like get a lot of material behind my knee and that is not comfortable. But the same thing does happen with the fly pads, right? You bend your knee and there's a lot of material back there, but because they're so basic and that material is so thin, lightweight and soft, it really doesn't bother me at all and it's very, it is noticeable, but it's, yeah, it's so soft, it's not a big deal. I also really like the hex padding they're using. So all these little hexagons are individual inside that pad. So they move independent and you can get a lot of movement. It just makes moving around, flexibility, everything just a lot nicer, makes them more comfortable. So I'm a fan of all of those little individual hexagon pads. We see it in a lot of other sports, right? Like Nike's using it. Davidson's using it, Adidas, a lot of companies use this hexagon stuff. So I like it and I like it. the CV incorporation into paintball. So you can see they fit me fine, right? Like they're not too big, they're not too baggy. They're not like weirdly proportioned. And like when I'm standing here, they're perfectly fine, right? They fit my knees well, they fit my arms well, and I really don't have a problem with them. But I do think with these lightweight pads like these fly pads, that when we start to actually play with them is when they get a little bit weird and they're sort of working on different surfaces a little bit better. So I definitely find the fly pads do not work that well on dirt surfaces. So think about it, right? You're like doing a knee slide or you're diving or something like that. And on this dirt, you're not really like sliding across that surface. You kind of just like hit it and stop. And because that lightweight, like stretchy material on the pads, they do have a tendency to kind of like slide down your knee a little bit easier than we're seeing on like traditional knee pad and elbow pads. Like say those die pads or, I you don't know, the Exalt Free Flex elbow pads and knee pad. So because the grass and AstroTurf is just so much smoother and way more consistent, you kind of do just slide across that surface. You're not really getting as much friction or stoppage from the ground or whatever. So the knee pad and elbow pad are staying in place much, much easier on that grass and AstroTurf. So I think that if you're playing on turf or grass most of the time and you're an aggressive player, a lightweight pad would be good like this. But if you're not, right, say you're playing in the woods or something like that, uh, getting that pad that's maybe a little bit sturdier and heavier duty is probably gonna work better. To help limit the elbow pad from going up your arm when you're diving, Bunker King has added that half hand or gauntlet hand. It just kind of helps the elbow pad from going up your arm. It's not going to necessarily keep it perfectly aligned, but definitely will just, you know, help it from going up your arm when you're diving. One thing that I don't like about the fit on these is the elbows. Uh, I got long arms and like, they look like they fit me fine, right? Like they go on and everything's good but they're definitely too short. So when I have the half hand thing on, my elbow is just exposed, right? Like if I dove with these, I feel like my elbow is not protected at all. So when I wear them, I actually have to take the hand off and like scrunch them, not scrunch them, but like move them all the way up my arm. I just feel like that's a better fit for me. The bad part though is they don't really stay in this position. They're not super, super tight on my arms, which I actually prefer. And they do just kind of end up going down and working themselves down. 
So for me, they're not gonna provide like a very good elbow support if I'm diving a lot because my arms are just too long. But I honestly find that problem with all elbow pads. The only pads that fit me like really, really well, the GI Sports race pads. I find that those fit my elbows probably the best. Uh, but again, I got this big body problem, so. So overall, protection's good. I don't think most people are gonna have that elbow problem. I mean, most people don't have really long arms. And I like the knee pads. I think the knee pads fit me really well. I like the placement of the pad. Uh, and that hex stuff, it's just really easy to move around. So I think these pads kind of work well for two different people, right? Like say you're a tournament player, you're 175 pounds, and you're only playing on grass and astroturf. I think that that works really well, right? Because they work really good on that turf and grass, and then they're a lightweight pad. So if you're a lightweight person, you can kind of get away with that lighter weight pad. I think that people that are maybe over 200 pounds, we'll say, you'd probably benefit more from getting something a little bit heavier like the die pad or that free flex pad from Exalt. That second person is like, say you're a rec player and you're playing in the woods a lot, or I don't know, just on dirt but you've never wore pads before and you don't really have any intention of diving or sliding, but you would like a little bit of knee protection or say you play in the summer in short sleeves a lot, but you've never worn anything on your forearms, but you want a little bit of protection, but again, you're not gonna dive. I think getting something like the fly pads, it'd also be good because they're lightweight, they're cool, and they're just freaking comfortable. Guys, that is the Bunker King fly elbow pad and knee pad review. Yep, check out another video right there.